So we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in fly paper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, back and forth we go. Fighter blocks a punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. 
Three minutes to go. Nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping. Great technique on the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land right on the spot. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fit. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to fit. Five total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Conor. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, the real kick connects. Oh. Impressive. Boom shot oh. for the end of round stop, one. Stop, stop. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both of them his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, he hurt him. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Deep now. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Ortiz. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Big left hand. So he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Beautiful kick. Just over two minutes to go. Lands a beautiful leg kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Ortiz, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how the... He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, big left hand there. Now a knee. Under a minute to go. Oh, he is hurting 
for Sutton. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. There it is again. Look at that. And back to his feet. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that out. Yeah, you Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you have got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice jab. Oh, McGregor's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, and he landed and got the KO finish. Yeah.